Hey, this is Chris Sev from Better Dev. In this video about Tailwind, I wanna talk about one of my absolute favorite classes that Tailwind provides, and that's gonna be the space between utility classes. What these utility classes do is that they can provide space to the children of a div. So let's say we have a div here, we have three children. To get some spacing between these three children of this div, we have one, two, three, we add space X, Four, and that's gonna be the horizontal because it's the X axis. And I know that the title of this video, Space X, uh, is a little bit clickbaity, but it really is a class called Space X, which I love about that. The same applies for Space Y to add vertical space between children, and I'll click here, and that's vertical spacing for Space Y6. Both of these utility classes are gonna follow the same numbering scheme that the rest of Tailwind does, and the cool thing about this is that you can customize these as well. Let's go up to default class reference. You can see how specific we can get here, space Y, and we even have 0.5s in these, and you can even scroll down to the bottom of this and do some negative space Ys and negative space X. So really, really fun classes to use, and I'll show you why I really like them here in a code pen. I have a brand new code pen. I have the settings. I've added the Tailwind style sheet right here. And let's use some good old Emmet. I'm gonna say min height is screen. Let's go for background green at 400. Let's go for flex, justify center, and uh, alliance item center. So we're just gonna get something right in the middle of the screen. I'm gonna do a div inside of this div. Let's do uh, div times three. And then for these, let's do background white, padding four, uh, rounded, and shadow. All right, so I've been able to do that pretty nicely. We are using Emmet, the HTML kind of shorthand tool. I've got a free course on that. If you want a link to that, I'll add that to the description. So here, let's see how we can use these flex classes. Class is flex right here. And now these are gonna sit side by side right there. Now to get the spacing in between these children, we can just do space X four. And just like that, it automatically calculates the spacing in between each of these little squares. The cool thing is, is this can work for any type of children. So if I change this to a P tag, that would work still. No change there. So I'll go back to the divs. If we do flex column here, we can do space Y of four. There we go. So those are gonna work out just as well. And let me show you why this is such a really cool class. If I delete this, one of the ways that you would think to add spacing in between these is to say, okay, well, I probably want margin right of maybe four and then margin right of four here. So here we are explicitly changing each of the children. Now, the problem with this is that it isn't really scalable because let's say we want, okay, we need five more. So let's go five more or however many I just did. And then I'll do this and now we paste them in. So we had to manually go in and update each of them. And then let's say I deleted maybe one of these. It's just kind of a pain to do the maintenance on this sort of thing. So the cool thing about this is that we can delete all of these and put space X on the parent and now, no matter how many divs we have down here, all of the spacing is correct because the space X class will go ahead and take care of it for us. One of my absolute favorite classes is the space X and the space Y classes. Definitely find a way to work them into your workflow. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.